Hello, welcome to another episode of Massachusetts. I'm your host, Bob Tremblay. A week ago was Carrie's birthday, and what's really kind of fun about our birthdays, my birthday is a month ahead of hers. And so, if you recall, I went dog sledding on my birthday. And so, we're now turning that into a tradition. And so, last week, we went dog sledding on Carrie's birthday. So, this video uh, kind of shows that. It's an interesting one because we start off, we thought Carrie was going to ski with us, but she ends up actually jogging um, behind the dog team. So that made for kind of an interesting run. So um, if you watch all the way to the end, in addition, you'll see that there's another surprise wild animal that has been participating with us um, kind of annually on Carrie's birthday, two years in a row now. So stay tuned for that. But anyway, um, keep watching and we'll take you dog sledding on Carrie's birthday. Well, what seems to be becoming a family tradition, the Tremblay family is out on Carrie's birthday. Happy birthday, Carrie. Thank you. And Bandit and Shiva. And it's Carrie's birthday, so we're going dog sledding. We're very fortunate. My birthday's in January. Carrie's birthday's in February. So we happen to be natural-born mushers in terms of the season of our birthday. So Carrie's going to be on skis again. I'm in the sled. The dogs are in front. Uh, join us for a run to... Who knows where so stay tuned see ya <laughs> Shiva is hooked up to her tug line bandit is hooked up to his tug good dogs stand we'll get our leash into the slit bag my gloves on. Looks like Carrie's struggling with the ice down there a little bit. Alright. We'll get down to her in a minute. Hang on there, pups. Pretty icy here, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so this part of the trail has been rutted out by trucks. So it's really kind of packed down and icy. You see our tracks here even. Dogs are barely able to get traction, but we're just about a quarter mile to the bridge where As we, as we stand here waiting for Carrie to catch up, um, I apologize if the camera's jumping all around. I'm using a different mount on the handlebar of the dog sled, and um, it just doesn't hold, the, it doesn't hold the camera very steady. So as we're ru running along like that, we're bouncing, the camera keeps moving, I'm trying to hold onto the handlebar and correct the camera at the same time. So 
I'm sure that makes for some interesting video. I look forward to seeing it. And here comes Carrie. Dogs out. Out. Good stand. So the icy conditions are impossible to ski. All right, Carrie, what was it like? Well, maybe for someone who's a little more sure on her skis, but it was pretty tough for me. So what we're doing, we're switching off. So Carrie's taking her skis off. She's going to put on the micro spikes. She's going to walk. I've got the dogs, and now I have the skis tied onto here. We'll see how that works. And that apparatus that was shaking the GoPro around actually broke. So no more of that. They're ready to go. Yeah, they are ready to go. Dogs are eating some snow to rehydrate. Here comes Carrie, who's running behind us. Oh boy. There's the skis that are doing nothing. Yeah, that, now I can have a <laughs> nice, big, fat, high caloric birthday dinner. Oh, there we go. That's how we justify that. Dogs are loving the snow, right? So is Carrie. <laughs> So I'm waiting for Carrie again. Snow hook is set and the dogs are here patiently waiting. And I think what I'll do while I'm here, I've been wanting to talk for a while really about Bandit and Shiva and what kind of dogs they are. So, hey, out, out. So both of them are purebred Siberian Huskies. And Bandit looks the part. So most people, when they think of a Siberian Husky, they think of a dog like Bandit. A sled dog, black and white, with blue eyes. And then Shiva, with her dark coloration, and her brown eye and her blue eye. Um, people don't know what she is, but she's a purebred Siberian Husky as well. Um, we've done the DNA test on, on, on Shiva. I thought she might have been an Alaskan Husky, but she came back as a purebred Siberian. And Bandit very obviously is. So Bandit is what we would call more of like the pet type breed. And so he's been bred to have these looks that people think of when they think of Siberian Huskies. Shiva is more of the working line. And so where you. she hasn't been bred as much for her looks, she's really been bred for her ability to pull into race. If you take a look, she's taller than Bandit. She's got longer legs. She weighs about five pounds less than him. She's just you. built to run. Um, of course, they both run. And then Carrie loves them both. I love them so much. <laughs> and these conditions are so icy. You'll see she's got her micro spikes on. This is why she was unable to ski. But we're getting through it. Happy birthday, Carrie. Thank you. <laughs> And now for a special surprise, we're going to show you another new tradition that has kind of started on our birthdays, particularly on Carrie's birthday. So last year in two, uh, 2021, 
when we were out sledding with the dogs, Carrie was again skiing, and to our surprise, we ran into a beaver on uh, crossing the trail. So we held the dogs up, took a picture of the beaver, as you can see here, and then continued on our way. And we kind of thought this was going to be a once-in-a-lifetime um, experience, but then it turns out that this year, on right near Carrie's birthday on 2022, I was again out riding with the dogs, and again, ran into a beaver. So here is a short video clip of that encounter. All right, almost exactly a year ago, we were sledding with the dogs and we ran into a beaver. And here we've run into one again. They're very excited. I want this beaver to get down and into the water. I'm holding them back now with the with the foot hook, <laughs> the claw hook. Oh, all right. We're gonna have. We to hope move. you enjoyed that video. Thanks for coming dog sledding with us on Carrie's birthday uh, jogging run, dog sledding jogging run. And uh, if you like this video, please like it. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. And we'll look forward to seeing you next time on the trail.